he's actually got Elijah, uh, Elijah Hewitt's number on his back, so um, he's had, uh, he hasn't had too much trouble moving on pretty quick. The game has a remarkable capacity to regenerate, and he is the shrewd choice for the next generation of West Coast fan. Elijah Hewitt, first round draft pick. Look at that. He has been a shining light in the aspects that we've seen to his game already as this season has unfolded. This is an excellent class of rising star being amassed in 2023 and Elijah Hewitt takes his place. It's our great pleasure to meet the rising stars every Tuesday night. Elijah, congratulations. Welcome to AFL 360. Awesome. Thanks for having me on, guys. Appreciate it. So there's been nothing easy about West Coast here, but I was wondering, have you been able to enjoy it? Have you been able to enjoy your first taste of footy against that backdrop? Yeah, I've loved it. I've obviously always dreamt of it as a kid, um, but I think I'm lucky enough to have a lot of young blokes um, aside me with, with the Eagles, and, and I guess uh, I don't know how many exactly there are, 18, 19, 20-year-olds, but there's more than, than any other team in the comp. So um, we're all taking it in stride's length and um, just enjoying it immensely, mate. What about the what about the in the in defeat? When you walk into the rooms afterwards, does it really weigh heavily on you, or is it all about this is part of the learning progress? Oh, there's probably a bit of both. Um, you do take it um, take it not so. I mean, a hundred point loss is hard, um, especially that you know that Sydney game, one hundred seventy point loss. But um, we're pretty clear about where we're going as a club and as a young group. Um, and, and we kind of do bounce off a lot of those older boys and, and kind of look to them for, to see how they respond. Um, and, and that has a big impact on how we respond. But, yeah, as I said, we're, we're, we're kind of chasing process and, 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 you know, it's pretty tough right now. Um, but um, we're, we're excited to see, see what's you know, going to happen over the next few years. When I watch you play, I, I love your burst from stoppages. We just saw some footage there. You've got, a, you've got a, a real eye for the goal and you take the game on. How much has, say, a guy like Luke Shuey helped you in that regard in your, in your progress this year? Yeah, a lot. I remember being a kid watching Shuey, um, you know, Nitnat tapping it straight down his throat and him bursting through the stoppages and lacing people out. Like, it's just incredible. Um, and, and he still does it. I think my first goal was actually from Shuey breaking out from stoppage and, and, and lacing me out. Um, in the deep 50. So, yeah, he's just incredible. You, you see how he goes about his week um, and how he trains. He trains incredibly hard. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll just to take a few leaves out of his book in, in my short time with him just over this year has just been incredible. So does Simo encourage you as a young player? It's not just you, all of them. Now, you're going to make mistakes, but is he encouraging you to just try and take on the game, take on the game? Yeah, 100%. I think... Um, the, the tough thing is you're trying to find the balance between playing with the team's structure, um, the team's role in, a, and game plan, and also having a bit of your own individual flair. Um, and I think I'm a player that probably thrives on um, a bit of instinct and, and that flair. So Simo always tells me to, um, to to back myself in, and if everything gets cut short, then um, then then back your your instinct in. So he's really good about that, and um, I do try to back myself in um, where necessary. And late in the season, how are you? How are you feeling physically with all that there's been to learn and to and to get the rhythms of a footy season? How are you holding up in the middle stages of August? Yeah, quite good. Um, I think the first half of the year was quite hard. I had a few injuries, um, was out for quite a while. But I think this back half of the season, I've had quite good continuity. Um, strung about eight or nine, maybe ten games together in a row. So it's been good. My body's actually feeling better now than it did. Those, after those first few games in the back half of the season. So I'm feeling good, mate. I honestly feel like I could play about 10 more games because my, my season's probably been halved. Ah, the young kids <laughs> these days. Elijah, it's great to meet you like this. Uh, we'll see you in Melbourne again on Sunday and then congratulations on the rising star, Nom. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Well done, mate. Uh,